What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today we're gonna talk about what are the best pet snakes for kids in the 2022 slash 2023 season. This is my son Franco and that's what sparked this video is I'm thinking, all right, if I were a parent getting into snakes, what would I let my kids hang around? What would be a good snake that could grow with them? We're gonna talk about all that in this video. We're gonna show a lot of examples. We're doing this one-handed, but I will say by far the first pet snake that comes to mind when somebody says, I have a child, I wanna get them a pet snake, it has to be the corn snake. They come in tons of different colors, morphs, patterns, different, you know, everything you can imagine, and they get a pretty decent size. This is about a full-grown male. They can get a little bit larger than this, but this is Chester. He's a corn snake you've seen in a lot of videos. Super pretty. Check out those belly patterns. Check out the colors on this guy. They're generally very docile, and even if they're not, their bites don't hurt. They barely break skin as they're little. The only downside to a corn snake is with little kids, they do not know how to use their motor skills as well, so they have a tendency to pinch. If you're going to get a corn snake for a young kid you have to make sure they're old enough to understand that pinching is not allowed and they have to be gentle with these animals otherwise they're pretty hard to mess up they stay you know they grow to a decent size they stay about uh, 75 to 80 degrees 70 to 80 very forgiving they eat once a week if you can feed them a little bit more a little bit less again super forgiving and really hard to mess up really hard to get sick and kill so that's why I say corn snakes are fantastic pet snakes for kids really they're great pet snakes for anybody but for the purpose of the video we're gonna talk about for kids and I think corn snake is hands down number one pet snake I would recommend for a younger kid or somebody who may be transitioning and may lose interest from time to time because kids do that people do that in general and it's hard to screw up a corn snake the next pet snake I would always recommend for a kid whether it you know from five years old and up as long as they're responsible you already know it's coming is a boa constrictor or a boa imperator so basically why I like these is that they are just again like a corn snake a little bit more uh, temperamental when it comes to their caging requirements they do get slightly larger and that's why I like boas is for the most part they eat very consistently very readily really hard to mess up a boa their fluctuations in temperature are fine they come in all different price points colors morphs patterns this right here is an albino leopard one of the prettiest ones I've seen and I produced it so I'm biased but that is why I like boas they're just really hard to mess up the other reason why I may recommend a boa over a corn snake for a kid or really again for anybody who's looking to get into reptiles is that they grow to a good size so something that you see as a common complaint for corn snakes is that I need to put this snake down he wants to move or she wants to move is one one complaint I see about corn snakes is their size they don't get large enough to really quite quench that thirst of the snake that you want so people go to a corn snake they're not happy because they're small and then they want to go for something bigger and then they'll step it up to another python or something like that but I think bow is at the perfect middle ground they get just large enough that they're manageable but, but they also get just large enough that they really quench that thirst of having the large snake it's a snake you can grow into they take four to five years till they become really a good size this is a one-year-old and this is a dwarf species but for the most part really rewarding snake to keep very hardy eat readily rarely do they get sick if you even if you kind of fluctuate temperatures just a little bit so it's it's a really good starter snake or pet snake for a child and again they do get to that size that you really want as a snake but you're hesitant to get the nice thing is it takes time to get there what's the set what's the third one let's dive into it the next snake I would recommend for a newer keeper, someone trying to get into reptiles, wants something a little bit more specialized but still really simple to manage, is something like a Dumerl's boa. I'm gonna get off camera so we can take a look at this one. Beautiful, beautiful snake. This specific animal is a male and he is available on my website at the point I'm filming this video. That could change in 30 seconds or it could be changing now. I'm not pushing these animals because I think they should. you should buy them from me. I'm pushing them because I really believe that they are good snakes. I have a lot of different snakes here and I'm pushing these because I think that they are great pet snakes. They get a little bit bigger than a boa constrictor. A lot of people think that they get small, but Doomworld's boas get quite large, and if you've looked at some of my Doomworld's videos, go check at them. Go check them out if you haven't, because you'll see some large Doomworld boas. My arm is getting tired because this kid's getting heavy, but 
Dumero boas are really awesome snakes. They're from Madagascar, not as readily available, and their prices are going up. There are no color or pattern morphs at this point. There were some hypos and things like that in the past, but just a really awesome snake. Another thing about them is they get that large size that you want, but it takes a while for them to get there. They are ground boas, so typically a shallower cage is going to work best for them, but overall just fantastic snakes as pets. Really docile most of the time. Ask your breeder if you're going to buy it, because some of them are not. Uh, but usually they are docile snakes and I will also mention that when I say boa, boa imperators or boa constrictors I'm talking about all species of the common boa even if that's dwarf boas so I do want to throw that in there that the last video or the last snake I just mentioned the boa imperator that includes tarahamaras, tamalipas, uh, cloud forest basically everything you can imagine uh, Pearl Islands, Hog Islands, those are all in the boa species realm. They're super hardy and really easy to manage. So this is the Dumerl's boa, different than boa empowered or different than boa constrictor. These are really awesome to have as pets. The last snake I'm going to mention is a milk snake. So this specifically is a black milk snake, but this is, I just picked her up and she's, she's, I really need two hands to support her, but milk snakes are any type of colubrids really. So this can somewhat fall into the corn snake category, but I do think colubrids are a little bit different. Milk snakes can get a little larger and this will all also throw in with the milk snakes, I'll say king snakes. So these are really cool snakes, also very hardy for the most part. There are some specialized ones, but any type of colubrid that is a king snake snake, corn snake, stay away from the more specialized stuff like the, you know, the indigos and things like that. Go with your typical common pet store colubrids. For the same reason I mentioned corn snakes, colubrids like milk snakes and king snakes are just fantastic pets. They're just really hardy, get to a great size. I think they can be a little more specialized than corn snakes because they can, they have a tendency to eat each other if you put them together. Corn snakes don't necessarily do that. I have a snake on the loose below me, but I think any type of milk snake, king snake can also be a fantastic pet as long as you're aware of what you're doing and you don't pair them together because if you do that, you're going to end up with a kid that's crying because their pet snake just died. With all that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was my best pet snakes of 2022, 2023. I could have expanded on those subspecies a little bit more. Like I said, going into the different species of boa constrictor, a different locale of boa constrictor, boa imperator, getting into the tamalipas and the tarahamaras and different dwarf species. That's the research you need to do on your end to figure out what is right. We can do that in a whole other video, getting into the different subspecies. But for my purposes, when I'm talking to somebody recommending, a boa is a boa, at least a boa imperator, boa constrictor, boa longicata. They're all the same in terms of care, husbandry, hardy, hardiness, and just they're fantastic animals. So again, my ranking is corn snake, uh, boa, any type of boa that is in that boa imperator, boa constrictor, the typical red tails that you might see except for wild caught stuff. That's gonna be in a different video for worst pet snakes for 2022, 2023, especially for kids. Uh, Dumerl's boas because they're in their own category of their own, their ground bow is fantastic. And then any type of other specialized colubrid like a corn snake, or excuse me, like a king snake or a milk snake comes in all different colors, price points, and they're just fun to have around. So with that said, make sure you look at my website if you're looking for some animals. Check out my Patreon if you want to support me and you want to do some more one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Super cool tears like that. I have a tired kid. I have a sick kid. He's ready for a nap and some food. But with all that said, guys, I appreciate you watching, checking out, subscribe, and make sure to share this video with your friends. And until next week, appreciate it. Thank you.